Hello and thank you for checking out this very brief overview of the admin panel and tools behind it. Let's start with the social site manager. The sign in pages section is responsible for the structure of your network. You can remove, add different pages with different page types. You can define which pages will be shown in the main navigation menu. You set permission to view, add content on different pages. You define the layout of your pages and you can add different content blocks on each page. In general settings, you define name and the description of your network will be shown on the registration page to your network and in search results in Google and other search engines. You can attach here the Google Analytics account. It will help you to track the visits of your network and different pages of your network so you will have a better idea of what people like more about your website. You can define the language of your network. It could be only one default language. The network time zone will define the timestamps that will be shown next to the uploaded content. The network icon will be shown on the registration page on the network and the favicon will be shown in the tabs of the browser with your network. In the privacy tab you could set the overall visibility of your network to private so it will be accessible only to registered users. You can allow only invited people to join your network or you could apply paid membership. In case of setting up paid membership, you could allow only some selected uh, group of people to get free access to your website by adding their emails here. In the disk usage, you could track used available storage and get access to all files that were uploaded on your network. Also, if additional storage is required, you're able to purchase extra storage down here. If you don't wish to have .min.com as a part of your domain, you could change it in a domain mapping. You could attach a third-party custom domain, or you could purchase a domain from us. You are able to integrate with Facebook, Instagram or MailChimp. Facebook integration will allow you to set up Facebook comments on the content of your network, so even non-members of your network could leave their feedback. Instagram will help you to pull up the feed from your Instagram page and put it anywhere on your network and the MailChimp integration will synchronize your Link members database with your MailChimp account so you will be able to use advanced MailChimp messaging tools for targeting your network members. In social sharing tab you can enable disable likes and shares for your content using third party social networks. In the custom code you could add different HTML, CSS, JavaScript codes for analytics or your network customization. In the language editor you could create new translations if your language is not presented in the list of standard languages. Or you could modify the existing translation here. When registering a network with Google Webmaster, it will help it to be crawled by search engines faster. So your network will start appearing in the search results of Google. You could add custom files in the file manager and the link that you will get could be shared anywhere on your network or outside of your network. In Robot.txt you are able to hide some of the pages of your network from appearing in a Google search. A sitemap is a map that helps Google Bot to crawl your network pages. It's been updated automatically by default, but if you wish to update it manually, you could switch this box off. And the Legal Documentation tab will allow you to add your own custom terms and conditions and privacy policy. And Support tab is for communication with support team. So let's uh, briefly examine the Design Studio. It is responsible for the design of your network in terms of backgrounds, fonts, font sizes, font colors, main navigation menu orientation and for advanced customization you have access to redefine the CSS of the entire network here. 
In the members section you have access to the list of members of your network and their info. You can define the list of profile questions you wish to ask your members. You can enable social sign-in and sign-up for up to three social media. You can create different member categories to group your members by certain criteria. If you need to approve the content before it gets published on your network, content management is the place where you would need to go for this. And e-commerce provides you with tools to monetize your network. The monetization scenarios that this tool enables are as follows. It's paid membership, paid content, and collecting donations. Hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.